Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm Constance. Thank you for joining me in the next episode of my English classes. Happy New Year everyone. I hope you had a wonderful holiday and I hope all your wishes and dreams for this what, 19, 2019 comes through, alright? Whatever you're doing, I hope you prosper and succeed in it. Alright, types of poems. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Types of poem. So, number one, let's start. Number one, sonnet. Because sometimes in your exams, you're asked to give the definition, name different types of poems and the definition. So, sonnet. Poems of 14 lines with a definite arrangement of rhymes. Poems with 14 lines with a definite arrangement of rhymes. So rhymes is like you say, wine and dine. All right? Wine and dine, run and fun. So definite arrangement of rhymes. Ballad, a ballad story told in verse or song. A story told in verse or song or a verse telling a story. A verse telling you a story. All right, so that's what a ballad is. Epic, heroic, often very long poem or story or a very great story. A very great story is usually a very long one. All right, so it's heroic and it is very long. The word epic means long. All right, free verse. No meter, which is no rhyme, no rhythm, no structure. No rhyme, no rhythm, no structures. A lot of the rappers, they use free verse, okay? In their craft, they use free verse, all right? So it has no meter, which is no rhyme, no rhythm, or structure. Storytelling. This is a little shift in. So I put an asterisk there. So storytelling, narrative, manuscript, chronicle, tale, anecdote. So if you are asked to give a different name of a story, what is a different name of a story? You can say it's a narrative, it's a manuscript, it's a chronicle, it's a tale, folk tales. People talk about um, little stories that happened long time ago. Anecdote. All right, a chronicle is a list of short stories. A list of short stories. Sometimes they are bind together in one book, all right? So that is what a chronicle is, a list of short stories. And folk tales, anecdote is what you, you talk about or you write about sometimes. All right, so storytelling, it's a narrative, it's a manuscript. It's a chronicle, it's a tale, and it's an anecdote. Fiction, fabricated figment of imagination. Your, your fiction, if you ask what is the definition of a fiction, it's a made-up story. It doesn't, you don't have to use this exact word, fabricated, or a figment of one's imagination. You know, you want to look good on your paper, you can say fig figments of one imagin imagination, or it's a fabricated story, or you can say it's a made-up story, or an, an untrue, you don't really say an untrue story, but you say a story that is made up, or it is fabricated, or it's one from one's imagination. Nonfiction. Nonfiction contains the truth. Nonfiction contains the through. So a nonfiction is a biography, a memoir, history books, things that you do research to get answers to. So you're writing the facts. All right. So the nonfiction is all about the facts. What has happened in the past or what is presently happening now. All right. So that is what a nonfiction is. So it contains the truth. So if you have, if you get that um, question on your exam, you can say it contains the truth. Example, a history book, all right, or a science book, all right, a memoir, 
a biography it contains the truth all right so those are examples all right so thank you guys for watching take a good look you can play the video over and over again write them down in your books so you can have them you know i think you have little ear plugs so you can have them to memorize them all right so guys thank you for watching happy new year once again thank you for joining me and i hope to see you in my hope you join me i keep on saying see i hope you join me in my next class my name is Constance. Until then, bye-bye.